this is Eno Malley. And this is Daniel Kowalczyk. Bringing you the human, human body. So, what we're going to start with is the ring. It is placed in your head right here, under all the skin and skeleton and all the muscles. What the brain does is it helps you move. Let's shake hands. It helps you shake hands and all that stuff. Can you can have like a conversation? You know, what do you think about this? Isn't this good? Yeah. It can help you do all that stuff. What do you? What would you be doing without the brain? Well, I think nothing. Here's Daniel. The eyes. Well, pretty much the eyes don't help you see. You can see me and Ian. But if I do, but if I didn't have eyeballs, I wouldn't see Ian. I would be as blind as a bat. What? Yeah, I, that's what I mean. You couldn't play video games, you couldn't do nothing. Here's the end with the skin. So, what the skin does, it actually, it covers up your muscles and your skeleton. The skin is a very important part of the body. Daniel, let's show him the skin. So what Daniel has here is a lot of skin, and he has bones under that. It's pretty hard, and then you have muscles under that. If you flex a little bit, you can see right here got tense, right here. Unflex it, flex it, so that's the muscles. And what the skin does, it actually protects all that stuff. Daniel, with the asphogus in the throat. Well, we, we place the asphogus like right here, because that's what we think it does. We think that it has, um, that's where all your food goes, and then your saliva chops up that so you don't choke on all your, your food. Exactly. It helps you digest, so, you know, you won't choke or anything, and all of your food comes out. Sounds a little wrong, but that's what it does. Time for the tortilla. So, Daniel, what do you think the tortilla is? I think the tortilla is what, what you breathe out. I think that the tortilla is where all of your... Like your um, wit, your air goes to your body, so you have oxygen everywhere. And without oxygen, you wouldn't be standing. It's almost as vital as the brain is. So the oxygen, like you just said, if you don't breathe, you know what? Nope. 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 Time for this. Diaphragm. We don't really know what diaphragm means. But we just think that that's where it goes because we just feel like it. Yeah, it just sounds the right spot. Yeah. After that, we have the heart. Well, I think we all know what the heart does. But we still have pumps. Pain. Yeah. So what the heart does, and it pumps, it pumps up everything for you. Without the heart, without the heart, you know what you would be doing? You'd fall like this. That's the heart. So if it's it's placed right here where it says you rule right here. And that's what they heard us. After that, we have the uh, pan crease. Daniel, what is a pan crease? The pan crease is kind of like the diaphragm. We really don't know what it means, but we've heard it somewhere, and we think that it's there. We think that's right there. Right, we, we placed it there because it sounds the best spot for it. We have the lungs, of course. You know what the lungs are. It keeps most of your air in your body. And... When you suck in, your tummy goes, like your chest goes out. It, your tummy you goes out. Not necessarily, your tummy doesn't go in, it kind of goes out. Yeah, kind of, because... Yeah, it does. So, when you breathe in, air gets stored into your lungs. And when it gets stored into your lungs, it sort of flex. Sort of flex out, in, out, in, out, in. All right. That's the lungs. After that, we have the large intestine. What is the large intestine? What do you think it is for first? Um, I think the large intestine helps you like digest. It's like another form of what your digestive system is, kind of. All right, I agree with that. And after that, we have the. All right, kiddos. I know a few of you are still recording. That's fine, but I need us all to clean up now, please. All right. Thank you. So for still recording, can we keep? Finish the last bit. All right. You've been recording for a while. We have the small intestine. What does that do, Daniel? Please. I think that small intestine is the second stage, is the another stage of your digestive system after the large the intestine. Hands. Yeah, so we place it around the stomach. We're going to explain the stomach. The stomach is right here. It is placed under the chest. We placed it there because we all know where the stomach is. Yeah. It keeps a lot of the food in there and all the liquid that went into your body. We have the pharynx and larynx. We also we really don't know what that means. Oh, we don't. Could you please go away? We don't know what the pharynx and larynx really mean, but we don't know. We put it there because it sounds. Next, we have the gallbladder, which we also think is another form of the digestive system. 
Lots of forms. In the gallbladder, we don't know what it really means. Well, we think it's there, and it's another form of the digestive system. Yeah. After that, we have the spleech. Spleen. 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 The spleen is what helps you in balance. If you were, if you were, if you didn't have a spleen, you'd be like, ooh, ooh, ooh. It's basically a very important bone. After that, we have the bladder. The bladder is a part of the body that's really important. It is one of it is a form after the digestive system. So after it's digested, it lets the food out and the liquid out. And we have the liver and the kidneys. Well, well the, the liver is, is the stage before the bladder. When everything gets there, the liver is the one that makes it ready to come out. Thanks, Danny. And the kidneys. The kidneys is another form of the bladder. It keeps it has the digestive stuff in it. And there we are. You got the human body. Thanks for watching. We are signing off. And this is Daniel. And this is Ian signing off.